What's up, everybody? It's Jack and Dan. And today, we're going to talk about the Works Hydro Shots. Yeah! This is a pressure washer right here, just in this gun. This thing literally only weighs a couple pounds. And it has a motor right here in the handle. And then you pop the battery in, you connect the rain barrel or any other source of water, and you can shoot anything. Now, it does not go up to thousands of PSI. It does come with this long adapter here. And it does go up to, I think, about 350 or something, depending on what nozzle you use. And, of course, you can change the nozzle. Yep. Or if, like us, you're just using it for rain barrels and you want to water, you can just pop this little guy on. This will actually give you a little bit more volume so you can water your flowers without, you know, pressure washing them. Because it's going to destroy them, obviously. Yeah. So this will put lots of water out, and it will pump it right out of your rain barrel every last drop. Now, you'll notice on the rain barrel here... It's a couple inches from the bottom, the spout, so a lot of the dirt and stuff, the sediment will settle on the bottom. But the cool part is, is these guys have a little screen in here. So if you do get a little algae or dirt or something like you that. You can clean it out and you can just, with water, you can just rinse it out because it'll clog. Yeah, it'll yeah. sometimes clog if it maybe rains a lot the night before and stuff like that. So you just, you just pop this little guy off and you just, you just clean that little screen off and then you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it clogging or anything. We're gonna kinda of show you how we do this. This works with a 20 volt system. We have numerous 20 volt batteries. They have sales all the time on holidays and stuff like that. These things are about 150 bucks. You can get them without batteries or attachments for way less, even half that price sometimes on holidays. We got two of them, because what Jack and I do is each one of us takes a, a hose. So like over here, we've got these hoses. We've got about a, oh, a 15, 20 foot hose each. We each take a hose, we each take a gun, we each go to a barrel, and we since we have eight barrels, that's four barrels each, we go two, 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 and in about 30 to 40 minutes, we can water all the way around our house and only using a couple gallons off of each one of these barrels, and even if it doesn't rain for about two weeks, two to three weeks. Don't ever drink the water as a safety reason. Yeah, it's just sure sitting they, there. They do not drop these on your foot because I've done that before and they do hurt. They do weigh a couple pounds. So with the battery and the gun together, it is going to weigh a couple pounds, but still not very heavy. We're going to show you how we do this, guys. It's a really cool invention. So this is your basic gun. The battery pops on like this. The battery is not waterproof. It does seal kind of. You can get some drops on it, but you really shouldn't get tons of water in there. Yeah. Okay. The little screen is right in here, very, very simple, and this screws on here. The reason we use these is because we use the quick release. We can just pop it on, and then we have the quick release on the other side of the hose, and we set those up on the barrels. So we go around with the gun and the hose connected. We just pop it off one rain barrel and go to the next rain barrel, pop it on. And those things literally only cost a dollar or two a piece, those quick releases. So for a very small investment with the hoses and quick releases, you can take these from barrel to barrel very quickly, spray each area and move on along. Again, in 30 or 40 minutes, we can knock out all of this stuff that we have. And we're gonna show you how much we have here in a second. Uh, with these, it's very simple. You push it on and you turn it and you're set to go. You can use this right off your rain barrel. You can spray your house, you can you know, wash your windows. They even have soap attachments. You could spray your car. You could pressure yeah, wash fun. your deck. Anything you want. It's not gonna take off the kind of stuff that something would if it had you know, thousands of PSI. But honestly, we've sprayed our patios. It will take all the black stuff off. It will strip it down with only 350 PSI. You put it on like this little adjustment here. On about 40 or so, it comes off with a spray, and we will show you how that works, too. It's pretty miraculous. Pretty much clean anything. Yeah, and never put your hands in front of the rake because you can get hurt. Yeah, obviously, don't do something like that. This is the attachment we use when we're watering. And again, same thing. You just pop it right on. So it's nice and short. We go around like this. Bada bing, bada boom. So basically, we each have a hose that's about 20 feet long. You can buy these hoses for a few bucks any, anywhere. I think we got these at Drug Mart. They do have the quick attachments. Before you hook the gun up, you want to prime the hose. If it's full of air, it's going to take a long time for the gun to prime. So you take these little doodads, you put them right down here, and you just pull back on the quick release. You shove it on that little spout there, pop it on, and then you open your barrel. So we've got little valves on the barrel to make it easier. Those valves are like 50 cents. These quick releases are like a dollar. As soon as the water starts to come out, 
once you kind of hold it up to waist level, you'll see it kind of stops, and that's just because of gravity. Yeah. So right when you're about here, you just pop it on your gun. And these are not expensive, but you still do not want to break them. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to drop them and stuff. Um, we've had these for five years, almost, mm -hmm. and they're working great. And then you turn it on, and you can see it just takes about a second to prime, and then you're good to go. Look at that water, guys. I mean, wow. Rainbow. So that's a lot of volume. If if you didn't have some sort of pump system, you could jack this. If you show this rain barrel over here, buddy, a lot of people put them up on bricks. They might have some sort of pump system. Again, most of that's going to cost you about the same as this. It's not going to give you the convenience. This is so small and amazing. I mean, you just literally go from barrel to barrel. You can water. It's one... not that heavy either. No. I mean, this thing maybe weighs five or six pounds at the most. It's unbelievable how light it is and how much water it projects. So we're going to take you around. We're going to kind of show you how we do it from barrel to barrel. Again, one 20-volt battery lasts us the whole time. So yeah. in about 30 minutes, Jack and I are going to go each barrel around, you know, five to ten minutes each barrel, four barrels each and we only use one battery. All right, so you can see Jack's over here, puts out a real good amount of water. So he's gonna be on the barrel that's in the corner here. I'm gonna be in the barrel down there. I do that area, he does this area. Look at this clematis this year. I mean, wow. And then these batteries now have this little thing, you can test them. Yes. So you just hit that, and that'll actually give you an indicator of how much you have left. Yes. Very, very nice. So Jack's gonna go ahead and start here, and he's gonna come down and meet me on the other side and then one of us will hook up to this barrel, and one of us will hook up to the other barrel, and we'll keep going around. I just want to give you a point of view shot here. You can see they do make a little bit of a noise. They're really not super loud. They don't vibrate much in your hand, and they're very ergodynamically helpful. I mean, very nice. You just hit the little safety button, pull the trigger. They're very easy to use. I'll spray each one of these guys in the back for a good minute or so, soak it down real good and then just move on along to the next one. You can see this here is the one barrel that Jack's running off of. What he does is he takes his hose all the way to the end and then he starts watering toward me. I start down there and I work this way and then we basically meet in the middle. About five, six minutes. Now when you're done with one barrel, all you gotta do is take your gun in one hand, very simple. You go over to the barrel, you turn the stopper off, very simple, and you pop off a quick release. Now, you've got both of these in your hand. You don't have to reprime it after that first time because it's already primed and it won't have any air bubbles in it. I just kind of stick my thumb over the end and I walk over to the next barrel. This guy right here, you could just gently set on the ground. And then this one, you come up to this one. Now, we've got a lot of ground cover here. It's hard to get back to this barrel, so we put a little extension on this one. You pick up your little extension. Usually what I easier. do yeah, is I turn this on just so in case any bugs or anything got in there. I kind of turn this on just to kind of make sure it's clear, which it is. It looks good. You pop this guy on. You turn this on. Now you're at the next barrel. You pick up your gun, and you're good to go. So we've already done all this area, but I'm on this barrel. I'm going to take this hose right here. I'm going to go out and do this area, and then I'll meet him in the middle here. All right, so down here in the front, we can barely reach this, but if he goes from one side and I go from the other, we can get these bushes where the sun hits them in the front, stop them from drying out. And then most of this big island, quite honestly, we don't have to put a lot of water because we've got these big evergreens and they keep it pretty well shaded. But in this front here, we gotta we gotta soak it pretty good because these bushes will dry out real bad. And we kind of hit this grass up here too. We couldn't possibly water all of our grass. There's just way too much. Um, the nice part is, is no matter how dry it gets, it always comes back. But these plants will not. They'll pretty much just dry up and die, and then you're done for the whole summer if you don't water them. This lake grass really doesn't require much. It's really easy, low-maintenance stuff. It's awesome. I love it. I might actually plant some more of that. These holly bushes hardly require any. They're kind of like a cactus, really. And then all this kind of ground cover we have in here, we just kind of hit it a little bit. Uh, again, it's pretty well shaded. As long as we kind of hit it for a couple minutes a day, it'll be fine. And then a lot of this ground cover will creep over, and most of these rocks will pretty much be covered um, in another couple weeks. We just kind of let Mother Nature do her thing, and we just kind of trim an edge. And uh, 
you know, just kind of let things go, keep it under control. We try not to do too much. Look at this big gigantic collie. This thing's crazy. It goes all the way around the front. And you can see we just kind of trim it right along the bricks. You really don't have to water these hardly at all. If we start to notice it turning brown, we'll hit it a little bit. But same with these big bushes. You really don't have to because they're so deep. Uh, they really go down there and get the water. As long as you're watering everything around them, they usually do pretty well. But if we notice them getting a little brown, um, same with these big guys over here. If we notice them kind of hitting a little brown, we'll, we'll hit them. But that only happens if it goes a couple weeks with just like really, really hot weather. If, if, even if it's super sunny and there's a drought, if it's not really hot, they'll still tend to do pretty well. I mean, you can see they, they all need trimmed. These are our big, gigantic pokeweed plants in the front. They grow really tall. Gorgeous little plants there. These are our milkweeds that we started propagating up here. You can see they spread like wildfire. Really cool because we get so many butterflies up here. There's none here right now because they tend to take off in the water. And, but we will get some shots. We get some awesome moths and butterflies and hummingbirds. It's really, really neat. These are gorgeous These uh, when they all bloom like this. Really cool when the sun hits them and you get all these butterflies up here. These are our two big islands in the front, one by the house. And we just kind of got these bricks separating everything and we let the ground cover take off. We don't have to mulch it, we just water it and trim it back. Really easy. I just want to show you standing next to Jack. Jack's five feet tall. Look at how tall this poke we got. This stuff literally just sprouted three weeks ago. That's how fast this stuff grows and it still isn't done growing. And it's way over your head, isn't it, buddy? Oh, well, for sure, yeah. So the reason we like this is it blocks some of the evening sun when the sun's going down. It blocks the sun from hitting the bedrooms, helps them cool off. It's actually like a wall. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like a wall of plants. And they actually do look kind of neat. They grow these huge kind of pumpkin looking berries, yeah. pokeweed berries here. Um, looks like little pumpkins and they get really big and they get black and pink and they're really kind of cool. They are deer resistant as well. So we don't really have to do much to them. Yeah, they're well, kind of like deer repellent. Yeah. Cool. Now, they used to use these berries, a little bit of a history lesson history here. Lesson, you know, I was just going to say, they used the ink, they get purple, and they uh, pressed them together, and they used the ink liquid, and, you know, they used the quill from the goose or whatever, and they would they used it to write the Declaration of Independence. Founding Fathers used the exact, exact same yeah. berry. All those it. early, the Independence, Declaration of Independence, all those papers were actually made and written from the ink from these very berries yeah. right here. Probably, but I'll tell you what, they propagate pretty good. Yes. Again, look at how thick this is. These literally sprouted three weeks ago. Look how thick this is. Wrap my hand around that, how big that is. It's like a tree. This whole area of the roof here all goes to this barrel. Like I said, guys, literally one hour of rain, we get a good little storm in the summer, it will fill all eight of these barrels in like an hour. 480 gallons of water, just like that, one little rain every couple of weeks is all we need. Look at that fern over there in the corner. Gigantic. This big hosta. All this stuff here, we've never used one single drop of our own water since we got these five years ago. Totally awesome. I mean, look at these gigantic things. Never used a drop of water. Just rain water off our barrels. Okay, so every now and then, it's Jack's bedroom window here. What do you got on your window there, man? Uh, bird poop. Yep, got hammered. Um, normally, if the sun hits that, it's gonna dry. It's gonna, you're never gonna get it off. The cool part is you pop this little sprinkler deal off, throw that in your pocket, and get your uh, big old pressure washer attachment. What you do is you just push that on, twist it. What we do is when we see things like this, put it on a little zero attachment, and then you pull your trigger, and you can just knock that right off the window, okay? Takes a second to prime. See that? Take that right off of there, man. Just as easy as that. Literally takes a second. If we see things like any kind of bird crap up on the house or anything, we can just go pop these off. You can use it for the rims or your car, anything like that at all. Again, it's only gonna go up to about 350, more than strong enough to take off most stuff. It's kind of cool because when we trim these red ones down, you can really see the yellow sticking up from behind. It's really cool. 
We just haven't gotten around to it yet. We probably will real soon. Okay, so we're gonna check. And yeah, we used almost the whole battery. So uh, that's Jack's gun. I still have a little bit more energy on mine. I'm gonna attach this uh, big guy here. Just show you guys a little bit more of what you can do with some of these uh, different kind of nozzles. So you can see this has a selection of different things you can do. You can use this other uh, sprinkler there, but it won't put out as much volume as the shorter one. I'm gonna put this on 25, which seems to work really good um, for doing sidewalk. So it'll give you an idea of what that does. If you take a look over here, it's pretty nasty. And you can see if you get up close here, and it'll take that right off, no problem at all. This gets a lot of algae right here because water kind of sits in this depression. So yeah, you know, if we notice a buildup like this, we can throw this on here and just kind of knock that out. Really super simple. It's more fun to play around with this thing than it is a garden hose, right? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's free water. So you got all that water coming down into your barrels and just the miracle of this tiny little uh, invention makes it so that you can pull that kind of pressure just off a little tub of water like that. It's really amazing. Okay, here's another really awesome attachment. Everything is quick release and they do give you a couple of these quick releases. We have extra because we have so many barrels and everything like that, but they do give you a couple of these with the kit. This is an awesome attachment. Look how long this is. I mean, I don't know how long it is, 15, 20 feet. It's really super cool. Um, this is a little filter. So let's say that you had a pond or you wanted to pressure wash your boat in the, in the water. You could take this little guy right here. You can adjust this little foam thing to whatever depth you want because it's just a little styrofoam kind of ball. You throw this, let's say this is a little lake right here. You throw it in the lake and then you attach this to the other side of your gun and bam, you could pressure wash your boat or pressure wash your car or your deck or anything. So if we had like a big koi pond, which we want to have someday out here or something like that, we could literally put this in our pond and use our pond water to wash our car or whatever. And then we could fill our pond up from our gutters or, you know, there's a, there's a multitude of things you can do. The ability to utilize this kind of thing for more renewable sources is just amazing. This is an awesome thing. So there are different, again, we will have a link in the description for this product to check out works. They also have a new one that has, um, instead of having one mount like this, it has two mounts on either side and it holds two Ooh. of the 20 volt batteries. Now, of course, it's gonna be a little heavier with two batteries, uh, not a lot, but then it's gonna last you like twice as long. So that's really cool. And I think it has a little more power as well. So, you know, again, this is a really, really cool thing. It does have a high and a low switch we forgot to say too, which kind of changes, you know, a little bit of the power and how long the battery lasts and everything like that. Um, it, it doesn't make a huge difference though, just so you know. But honestly, we love these things. Jack really finds them kind of fun. It is amazing how small and light this thing is to be able to pull all of that volume off of that barrel like that. If, if we didn't have these, these rain barrels would kind of be annoying. There are people that have pump systems hooked up and things like that. Uh, in my opinion, this is a lot easier to just take this from barrel to barrel. We can knock this out and you can use it for pressure washing and you can use it to wash your house and your windows. There's also, I think, I'm not sure what I did with it, but there's like a bottle attachment um, you can take this and you can put it, actually, this is the thing. You can take like a two liter bottle and you can put like soap in there and then you take that and then you put it on here and then you can like spray your car with soapy water. That's cool. Yeah. And then you can scrub it down and then you take this off and then you put it and you, we've washed our cars off the rain barrels numerous times, but water that comes out of the rain barrels is not by any means dirty. It just has bacteria. It's not just supposed to drink it. Yeah, you can't drink it, but it's not dirty because the sediment all falls to the bottom, which is below the valve, and the valve's a few inches off the bottom. So ultimately, the water that comes out is very clean. You can wash your car, you can wash your windows, anything you want. And if, you, you can of course add it's soap. rain, so it comes from the sky. Yeah, it's just totally clean. So we've washed our car many times. We've washed the windows, we've washed, we've pressure washed the house, the sidewalks, everything like that. Guys, this is an awesome thing. If you are a person that has a yard like us and you don't want to pay for all the water, 
the total investment for these guns and all of these rain barrels and all these attachments and everything was way less than a thousand dollars i think total investment was somewhere around 890 with tax and everything when i calculated it one time but we've had these for five years and we have so many of these batteries because we have so many works things we have like six of these now and we still have them all and they're all working at 100 percent uh some of them we've had for as long as 10 years since we got our first uh, works gt and some of them we've had for like five to six years and um they work awesome they just work awesome. So it's a power share system. We use them for our drills, we use them for everything. So this is just an awesome, awesome system. Um, we would have probably spent that much in water, all the watering that we use and do out here, we would have probably spent that much in water in two years. Instead, it's lasted us five years now. Hopefully it'll last us maybe five more at least. So we're basically getting like, if it lasts us 10 years, eight years of free water, it may even last us longer than that. So we're getting all this free water paid for itself in two years. It's a very good investment. Check out the description. Check out the links. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications. We review things like this and share things like this all the time. See you next time, guys. Quick spoiler for an upcoming video. We're going to be using this to uh, pick up 500-pound uh, boulders, actually. Yeah, this is an it's attachment an that goes to the Works Aero Cart. Yeah. And it's an amazing little invention we're going to be showing you in an upcoming video. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.